This time of year, we celebrate America's independence. And this document, the Constitution, this made America different from every other country that came before. But is this good enough? It's the best constitution on the earth. I think the forefathers knew what they were doing. Lots of people we asked had no opinion. Have you read the Constitution? No. no. Okay. What is the Constitution? Question. I don't know like, what that like is. The amendments? <laughs> What's that? Oh, I think it's like laws. Yes, the supreme law. Old people probably wrote yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> their dad. And is what they wrote good law today? The idea was right for the time that it was made in. Okay. It could use some changes. It's antiquated. Yes, this did accept slavery. Fortunately, the people who wrote this also made it possible to change it. We therefore declare... Of course, change isn't always good. Alcohol's national annihilation by an amendment to the federal constitution. That was stupid. That was yeah. people getting real jazzed up about something they didn't need to get jazzed up about. They eventually repealed prohibition. Are there other good changes we should make to make our constitution even better? We asked people some with legal and political expertise, are there things you would change? Oh goodness, there's so much. <laughs> Probably add a balanced budget amendment. Would that stop the politicians from bankrupting us? One reason they spend so much is to get reelected endlessly. Could we change that? Maybe term limits. 18 year terms for the Supreme Court. Maybe the confirmation fights would be less bitter and partisan. Others want to take term limits further. Politics should never be the family business. So if your father, mother, siblings, uncle, cousins were elected to federal office, you can't. No more Kennedy clan, no Bush dynasty. You can't get fooled again. I like any idea that limits government power. Term limits might. So would killing the Commerce Clause. It's been interpreted to grant the government virtually unlimited power over the economy. This has included forcing people to participate in federal pension programs, monopolizing health insurance for the elderly, enabling the war on drugs. There's no reason government should have any, any authority over commerce whatsoever. I don't know why it's in there. It's got to go. Many people want the Constitution amended to restrain the growth and power of Washington's agencies. The administrative agencies that now infest the banks of the Potomac are both a threat to Americans' liberties and to Americans' prosperities. This permanent bureaucracy, it has to be accountable to somebody. People have different ideas about how to do that. This congressman proposes... Overturning Citizens United so people can't spend millions of dollars in elections, in corrupting elections. So we return our democracy to the town halls and citizen involvement that our founders envisioned. Overturn Citizens United? Limits on political speech usually entrench the insider's power. The main point of the Constitution and the Bill of Rights was to protect the rights of the individual. I would specify more rights. So how about a right to earn a living? How about a right to not have um, the government steal from you? Some of our rights, of course, are already listed, like free speech. But today, many people want to limit that. Being able to speak your mind is important as long as it's not in a way that is going to be long-term harmful to people. Really? Take free speech out of the Constitution? Never take the speech away from the people. I'm glad this man defended even hate speech. If you hate it, somebody else might love it. So as long as there's no action to physically harm somebody, keep the free speech. The founders also included the right to bear arms. Fire! Back then, you needed them. But now, many people say, we no longer do. We have police officers, we have a military, so do we really need them? No. Others want to strengthen the Second Amendment. Just add a few lines. This means that we can absolutely arm civilians and you can't pass laws restricting uh, restricting the ownership of firearms. The only reason, reason we could stand on freedom is because we got the right to bear arms. We all like a micro-government in our own way. Micro-governments, I like that. And if we need someone governing us, maybe state governments have better ideas. 
lot of state constitutions have something called a gift clause. And a gift clause is a prohibition on government subsidies to special interests. And along the same lines, I would include in the federal constitution protections against the abuse of eminent domain that are also found in many state constitutions. Eminent domain lets government take people's property for what politicians consider public use. How did government grow to have so much power over everything? This was designed to limit government's power. Sadly, it's often ignored. I got a copy of the Bill of Rights here. And if you look at the First Amendment, it says that the right of people to peaceably assemble shall not be infringed. And not even libertarians bothered so much to invoke that as to fight the lockdowns and quarantining. The right way to amend the Constitution is just enforce the one that we have right now. Right. Meddling might bring unintended consequences like Prohibition did. Our founders wrote documents on old pieces of paper that were designed to give you life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I suppose if we were gonna change one thing, perhaps they should have done it in bold so more people would have paid attention. They did a decent job. I don't know if I could have done better in their shoes. So, they're all right, they get a pass. They do. And let's give the last word to this wise man we met in Times Square. The people got the power in this country, and that's what makes it so beautiful. Thanks for watching this video. Click this button, that'll help us make more.